Bowl. One state in America has provided us with the runner-up of season two, Clay Aiken, and the winner of season three, Fantasia Barino. So this season, we've gone to them. Would we find the next American Idol in North Carolina? We'll see. So what happens when Idol rolls into a small town like Greensboro? This, and this, and this. Well, we certainly had the crowds, but did they have the talent? Paula, as always, had high hopes. I'm expecting great talent. I've heard there's great talent here. Randy had little idea where he was. Is this North Carolina where? Is this Greensboro? Is this Greensboro? And Simon paid a local woman a hundred bucks to make him look good. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sweetheart. sweetheart. So as the crowd moved in, the judges settled down, and the search could start. Now, the South has really delivered some talent for us in the past. You've got Bo, Ruben, Fantasia, and Clay, all from this region. Here we are again. Is Greensboro, North Carolina, going to give us the next American Idol? Yeah! They think so. Oh, the judges, let's get in there. The audition start right now. Hi. Hi, how are y'all doing? We're doing good. How are you? All right, I can't complain. What's your name? Sabrina, the teenage witch. Oh, is that you? <laughs> Well, let's lose the teenage. Oh, come on, Simon. Don't start kidding, already. Kidding, 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 kidding. It's kidding. an early kidding, please. Kidding. Sabrina, now, how old are you? I'm 26. Well, it says here that she wins lots of karaoke contests, and people tell her she sounds like Faith Hill, and men are always hitting on her. Wow. That's kind of a good thing, right? I'm hoping Simon will hit on me. <laughs> well, Simon? Mm. I know that. I know that kind of girl. Yeah. Okay, well, let's get on with the singing. You don't need somebody to lean on. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Oh, God. All right. All right. Uh, Simon, <laughs> go. Look at Simon. He's like, oh, my God. I just want to be clear about when you said after karaoke performance, you said hitting on me. <laughs> More like hitting. <laughs> Simon. Uh, seriously, uh, if I'm being honest, you are more Jerry Springer show than American Idol. Oh, come Jerry on. Springer? Come yes. On. I hate come him. On. No, That's but right. I can see you on that show doing very well. And I'm not being rude. So, Paul, do you know what, what do I mean? you think? I'm not Jerry Springer. I don't take my clothes off and I'm not, show not my Not everyone dress takes their clothes off. off. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure that when you're at karaoke and everyone's had a couple, you, you probably right. sound amazing. You mean a couple of gallons? Drink <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That was okay, terrible. okay, let's sum this up. Yes or no? No. Paula? No, honey. Oh! Sorry, okay. it's a no. No to idol, but keep on karaoke. Good luck, y'all. Simon's a <laughs> You know that? He said I look like somebody from Jerry Springer. <laughs> <laughs> was I right? Uh, actually, you were right. Y'all stole right. my sister. <laughs> no, I didn't. Right. For once, you were right. So, not a great start. Simon had insulted the first contestant of the day and didn't care. Next were the hidden talents of Cache Robinson. How are you? I'm fine. You look like, uh, like, whoa, where have I stepped into? Why am I here? What's your name? What's your name? Cache. I like that. Thanks. And how old are you, Cache? 25. Why are you here, sweetheart? To become the next American Idol. And you believe you could be? I can. Why is that? I'm total package. Brilliant total voice. package. Total pack. And your voice is brilliant. To my knowledge, yes. Oh. <laughs> to my knowledge. I'm so a what, shower singer. <laughs> what are you singing? He's a shower singer. I, I'm a shower singer. Um, I'm singing I'm Every Woman. From the shower singer, I'm Every Woman. Here we go. Whatever you want, whatever you need. Anything you want done, baby, I'll do it naturally. Cause I'm every woman. It's all in me. It's all in me. Yeah. 
That's all you know? Yeah, that's all I can remember. Uh, well, there are some blessings. Yeah, yeah there's probably enough. Uh, uh, Paula, <laughs> what did you think here of uh, Cachet? <laughs> I didn't recognize the song at all. Okay. Simon Cowell? The best advice I can give you, Cachet, is to buy a soundproof shower curtain, because that was one of the worst I've heard. Okay. Seriously. That's all right. And I mean that in a kind way, because it was appalling. Yeah, so yes or no, Simon? It was. Yes. No. Paula. Cachet, I'm sorry, my am going to pass, but I really like you. Cachet, I got a pass, too, but I love the name. Thank you. Thank you, Cachet. Thanks, sweetheart. <laughs> Two down, no gold tickets, and for the following hour, it just went downhill. <laughs> Finding the next Fantasia wasn't going to be easy. No. It was a no. Absolutely. The girls of Greensboro were far from idle material. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should have gone to a bigger city. But not as far as Kelly Pickler was concerned. This chance meant everything to her. My name's Kelly Pickler. I'm from Alvaro, North Carolina. I'm 19 years old, and I'm a waitress where I have to do the roller skates. I'm the one that um, is running into the menu board and dumping drinks in the car. That's me. Woo! I live here with my grandfather. I'm going to work today. Do you want anything? I wouldn't mind having this sandwich. My mother left me when I was two years old, and uh, which is devastating for uh, a child because you wonder, why doesn't your mother want anything to do with you? My father's been in and out of prison pretty much my whole life, and uh, he's a drug user. It's hard to see somebody that you care about. Especially your own father locked up in prison. I have nothing to go back home for. If I do make it, you'll have to, you'll have to forgive me. I will have my hair <laughs> running down to my ankles. Heavy door. Hi guys. Hi. The door's kind of heavy, huh? It is. How are y'all doing today? Good. How are you? Great. You look great. Thank you. What's your name? My name's Kelly Pickler. 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 Pick Pickler. Pick me. <laughs> <laughs> How old are you? I'm 19. 19? 19. 19 years old and I'm from Albemarle. And you're here because you think you're the next American Idol. I want to be the next American Idol. Yeah. So. Do you have a passion for singing? Oh, yes. I've always enjoyed singing. I've sung since I was a little girl. So. Oh, great. Well, Not in front of anyone, though, hardly. Oh, it's a little, it's a little oh. different walking yeah. into yeah, this it's room. Different. It's a lot different. So well, just lot don't be nervous and have fun. What are you going to sing? All right. I'm going to sing Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. Oh. I know. I've got some big shoes to fill, that's for sure. <laughs> Since you've been gone, I can't breathe for the first time. I'm so moving on, yeah, yeah. Thanks to you, now I can. I get what I want. Since you've been gone, since you've been gone. Wow. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love this. Yay. Good. You know what? Can we sing another one? You know what? Give us 20 seconds of something else. Okay. Um. With a broken wing, she carries her dreams. Man, you ought to see her fly. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kelly Pickler. I'm loud. You're, you're adorable, <laughs> is what you are. And uh, I like the conviction in your voice. I like you. Thank you. Simon? I, I agree. Um, I, I think you're terrific. I, I think you're over singing the songs, but I don't think you need to try and belt them out quite yeah. as much as you do. But um, I really do like you. Yeah. You're really? You're yeah. infectious. You're oh, my infectious. God. I never in a million years thought I would be here. Well, I was you know sitting what? in the you Coliseum you... the other day with my grandpa, <laughs> and he took, and I said, You can talk, can't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can talk. I can, and I said, Grandpa, there's no way that I'm going to make it. And okay, all right, thank you. So thank, thank you. Kelly. Thank you so wait, much. Kelly, Kelly, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. 
Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yes and yes. Yes. Right. Congratulations. Welcome to Hollywood. Miss Pickler. Pick, Pickler. Pick, Pickler. Pickler. Pickler, we picked you. Oh, sweetheart, you go have fun now. Have a great day. That's a nice girl. Special. That's a nice girl. That's someone I'd like to see do well. Yes. Yeah. Like everything to me. I never thought I would ever. <laughs> I'm just so excited. I can't wait to call my grandpa that I live with and tell him. And uh, write my dad and tell him. And we've only just started. Coming up, she thinks she's a superstar. Her grandmother is a superstar. This is Ann Nesby, y'all, right here. One of the greatest singers in the known world. <laughs> and what has gotten into Paula? Come on, Come on. here she Come comes. On. Back with you on Idol, the Greensboro contestants are waiting patiently in line for their shot at Hollywood. One contestant who thought he was already there, judging by the shades, was cool crooner Sean de Salazar. He'd come armed with a big sign and a little brother. Okay, Sean and family, you're on a mission, huh? Oh, yes, mission to provide the standards. That's right, and then what happens when we open this up? What do we got? We got my life story, basically. Oh, this is it? Short life, then. Right here, these are the judges. This is where you want to end up. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now, That's about right. so what advice do you have for him before he goes in there? Well, I have, I have no advice just because I know he's strong enough to get to, get to, to, get to Hollywood. Yeah? I know, I just know it. I can feel it. You've got to come out of your shell first. <laughs> a little shy. Wow. Come on in, man. What's up? What is, what is this that you're bringing in here? It's my journey to American Idol. He's on a mission to bring back Stanley. On a mission. How old are you, Sean? I'm 17 years old. What are you going to sing, dude? I'm going to sing that old black magic. <laughs> Ready? Go for it. All right. <laughs> I should stay away, but what can I do? I hear your name, and I'm a flame, a flame with such a burning desire that only your kiss, kiss, kiss can put out the fire. You are the lover I have waited for. You're the mate that fate had me created for. And every time your lips meet mine. Okay. Uh, Simon. I thought it was distinctly average. It's the sort of thing I would expect to hear in an unpopular restaurant. Yeah, kind of the singing waiter. The singing waiter, the singing chef, the singing maitre d'. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Singing round about closing time. That's what it reminded <laughs> me of. Paula. I, d I think that you have a very nice voice. I think that what's a little confusing for me is the outfit that you came in. It, like, almost it's to like, match the part. I think it, it becomes a little bit distracting from the fact that you really do have a nice voice. Oh, thanks. So yes or no, Simon? No. Paula? You definitely have a voice, but it's not right for this competition. Oh, come on. Yes or no? No. Nope. Sorry, honey, no. Darn, man. I'll have a coffee. Nothing, no. nothing, nothing, nothing. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Nothing. Stop I would have disappointed you guys. How's the prime rib tonight? No, just kidding. Oh. No. Oh. You all right? Okay. I'm all right. Mwah. You'll do it one way or the other. What do you think happened in there? What do you think they missed? I don't know. They said that I dressed up too much and that, you know, I brought... The, Mom, look at Mom's face. I the project what, what? board and it was like too much. So mom was speechless, but little brother had plenty to say. I'm surprised, very, very surprised. But I think, I think because they didn't let him finish the song is because, because at the end there's a big note that he always hits. They said the tux and the board was too much. So what, get rid of it and, and, get rid of it and you, they would accept him? Get in a t-shirt and just tear this thing apart and they would accept him? I think it's baloney. All I have to say is that um, that he doesn't need American Idol. I think one day somebody's gonna walk, somebody in the music music business is gonna walk by and then give him a contract. That's what I think. And you know what? Who, who needs American Idol? There were plenty of people who did need American Idol in Greensboro, and plenty of them, like Sean, made the mistake of bringing in props. <laughs> 
with the usual reaction from the judges. Oh, God. Oh. But Richard Garland's prop spoke for itself. Hello, everybody! <laughs> hi, hi. How hello! Yeah, hello there. How are you, Scotty? Great. Yeah? You excited about the American Idol auditions? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. You look very happy about it. You think uh, Richie has what it takes? <laughs> sure. Yeah, why should he be the next American Idol? Look at him. Mm-hmm. He's wearing your shirt. What did you bring for us in that box? When I was eight years old, I bought a ventriloquist dummy. And I did this from eight years old to about 14 years old. Once I hit 14, it was really uncool to do that. So I thought, heck, I'll bring it for Paula today. Great. Oh, nice. Makes lots of sense to me. I'll show it to you right quick. This is Scotty. It's got Randy Jackson's boots on. He does have Randy's yeah, boots on. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> kind of a Simon Cowell hairdo. Oh, yeah. Weird. Hello, Paula. How are you? <laughs> That's so weird. You're looking at the next American Idol. Really? Are you sure? I'm sure. Okay, well, we will see. Okay. Uh, so, bye, Scotty. It's so freaky. <laughs> and limber, too. You ready? What are you singing? Flying Without Wings. I sang this to my wife a year ago at our wow. wedding. Wow. Very nice. Everybody's looking for that something. One thing that makes it all complete. You'll find it in the strangest places. Places you never knew it could be. Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Simon? Good voice, mm. but am I looking at a star? You know, I think in the context of a wedding, it was probably... Nice. Lovely. Singing to his bride, you mean? Yeah, we'd all be smiling. If you saw my bride, she's beautiful. Aww. Yeah, I'm sure. That's very nice. Randy? I quite enjoyed the dummy. Uh, the singing was okay, and <laughs> I did. I liked the dummy. I liked it. Oh. Yes or no? Yes to the dummy, no to him. That really helps, Randy. <laughs> yeah, I got it. Simon? I'm going to say no. No. Richard, I'm really sorry. Please don't take it to heart. It's just an audition, one audition. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing wrong with working with the dummy. Thank you. Anyway. <laughs> oh, Work with them all on. the time. Oh, all oh. the time. With Scotty back in his box, Richard heads home. But the doll wasn't the only one in Greensboro that day with a squeaky voice. My name is Rhonda Jones. I'm 21 years old, and I'm from Greensboro, North Carolina. American Idol, here I come! Woo! Hey, Simon, what's how are up? You? Well, I'm fine. How are you? I love the accent, dude. Thank you. I love yours. Thank you. People tell you you're a cross between Carrie Underwood and Britney Spears? Uh, that's what my mom tells me. She knows nothing really about music, so... Oh, well, there you have it, and there you have it. <laughs> so what are you going to sing to prove that you are the next American Idol? Okay, you just put a lot of pressure on me, Randy. Oh, take it off, take it off, take Randy, it off. Randy, how dare you? Yeah, don't, don't, don't put people um, off. I'm going to sing As Long As You Love Me by the Backstreet Boys. That's a oh, very good cool. song. Is that okay? Yeah. yeah. All the loneliness has always been a friend of mine. I'm leaving my life in your hands. And people say I'm crazy and that I am blind. Risking it all in a glance. And how you got me blind is still a mystery. Can't get you out of my head. I don't care who you are. Where you're from, what you did, as long as you love Thank me. Thank you. Uh, can I be honest? You always are. I'll tell you what put me off. It sounded just like the original. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm confused. What do you think? Come on. I am sweet, I'm cute, I'm adorable. Well, so is Paula, but she's not going through. Yeah, but I'll wear my hat. <laughs> I mean, come on, I want this more than a whole bag of gummy bears, Simon, come on. Okay. Yeah. Randy, yes or no? Uh, I'm going to have to say no. Paula? I don't think so, honey. Um, you know what? I'm speechless, honey. I Darling, don't, I don't know what it's say. two no's. I would have said yes, but it's yeah. the majority. Sorry. Sorry. I still love you, Simon. Thank you, darling. So how are you? I'm all right. You're shaking a little bit. You okay? 
I know it's disappointing. It's okay, sweetheart. Okay. You know what made me feel better, Ryan? What, sweetie? I got a hug. Oh, of course you can have a hug. Cool. She was very, very sweet. Rhonda Jones, self-effacing, shy, and naive. The polar opposite of the next contestant, Sergeant Stephen David Jr. <laughs> I'm auditioning here for American Idol because I know I have what it takes to be the American Idol. Um, I'm an entertainer, I'm funny, I know I can sing, I know I'm here for a reason. This is my year. You will definitely be seeing me on TV, I promise that. Tell me what you do, what is this? Um, I'm in the United States Air National Guard. I load bombs, rockets, and missiles on the F-16 fighter jet. Whoa. Yeah. May I just say, Paula? Yes, dear. Breathless. That's all I have to say. Wow, I like that. Do that again, Paula. What? Um, Paula. Oh my goodness. This is what I want to do, Paula. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Paula. But how about this, ma'am? If I sound good, will you come and dance with me in my last song? Absolutely. I'll, say, I'll sing to you. I'll say yes on her behalf. I'm not allowed. Yeah. No, no, we'll change the rules. Right, wait a, wait a minute. Okay. Anyway, yes, uh, what are you gonna sing and why are you here? Um, I'm here because I'm the next American Idol. I know I'm the next American Idol. I've been singing since I was two years old with a play school microphone. Wow. I know what I'm doing. I grew up in the Motown era, and that's what I'm here to sing. I'm here Great. to represent, you know, some Marvin Gaye, some All right, Stevie come Wonder. On. What you singing, baby? I'm going to sing some Marvin Gaye. Let's get it on. All right, come on. <laughs> sing right, it to... All right. Sing it to Paula. I'm yeah. going to concentrate on you, Paula. Look at her. Great. I've been really trying, baby. Trying to hold back this fiddling for so long. And if you feel like I feel, baby, come on. Oh, come on. Woo! Let's get it on. I think I have to go dance with Oh, baby. Let's get it on. Let's love, baby. <laughs> wow, what's Let's going on? This is on. a different show. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Paula. Come on, Paula. Come on, Paula. Come, on, Paula. Come, on, Paula. Come, on, Paula. come on, dance with him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here she come comes. On. Here she Here comes. She Here she comes. Here's your baby. We're all two city people. With so much to give. Oh, this is nice. Understand me, sugar. I'm over here dancing myself. And since we've got to be here. Let's live. Don't get too close. I love you. Do you know what? There's nothing wrong this with me. This is a weird show. Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much. You stand there, Paula. We'll judge Paula, you. you stand there. We'll judge you guys. Okay, Randy. Um. Oh God, I'm loving this. I like the dance partner. The vocals, vocals were. Vocals were kind of strong. You know, yeah, you they were. Feeling were. yourself. Mm -hmm. they I were like strong. the whole move. The whole. <laughs> I think it's time we talk about the vocals. The vocals, vocals were yeah. good-ish. Really good. Randy, yes or no? Uh, yeah, you know what, I, it, it was pretty good, man. I'd have to say yes. It's a yes from me. Okay. Paula. Huh? Well, you know what, I gotta tell you something. <laughs> if you're going to Hollywood and it's a yes from me, of course it's a yes Take her out. Me. Take her out. This is the weirdest Take show. Take her out with you. This is the craziest show Take her ever. out with you. See ya! His wife. <laughs> so what? This is Paul Abdul. She can join in too. I thought maybe his wife would want to barge in on this. Speed dating. Oh God, a speed dating man. show. Way to go. Oh, Way we to go. should save the marriage quickly. She's gross. Matt, he's married. He's married. Yeah. I know. I just want to tell you something. Don't ever do that. You're a married huh. man. That was not good. I do not feel right. I had to calm that. her down. I don't think you're going to be happy about this. What's your name? Yeah. Come on out, guys. Congratulations. Yeah. All right, wifey. I think it was just using Paula to get a yes. You know what I mean? I, the whole seduction thing. It was just, just trying to get a ticket to Hollywood. Come on! Before you wear out the welcome with those guys. This is the weirdest show today. That guy can sing his butt off. Do you mind? No. I didn't think so. So he has permission to slow dance with Paula like that, as long as he gets a ticket to Hollywood. Is that the rule? Yeah. You can do whatever, whatever it takes when you get in the room, as long as you come out with that. Coming up, she's been in 42 foster homes. Will she be part of the American Idol family? There's love for Simon. Hey, wow. God, but not you. for Paula. Paula Abdul ain't got on me. No flipping. <laughs>
You're back on Idol in North Carolina. Greensboro may have been a small town, but the auditions drew big family support. They were there at the doors ready to commiserate, mostly to celebrate. <laughs> and when they did, they did it in true Southern style. <laughs> Loud and proud. Alicia Thompson brought in 15 family members that afternoon. Supporting me and mine. God bless you. It looks like she has the backing. Does she have hey. the talent? Hey, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's only, it's only like afternoon. To me, it's evening. I feel like I've been sitting to 8 or 9. I'm so ready. Everybody else is sleepy. I'm just up. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I'm a mother of an 11-year-old, which will be 12, October the 27th. Um, I basically take care of the community, and I'm a very, very people person. Wow. <laughs> All right. What do you sing for us, most importantly? How to make me hot. It's a different world. A different world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whenever you're ready. I know my family loves me. They stand behind me because... Cause I finally heard them say that it's a different world Ooh, than where you come from. Yes, it is now. Yeah. Thank you. I like you. Thank you. I like you. your personality. Thank you. Mike. You can sing. Thank you. Simon. A natural. A total natural. A natural talent. And I like you. I like you. Very good. I actually was supposed to kiss you, Simon, and the news people were supposed to take a picture, and I'm I here. brought some plastic. What's the plastic for? Just in case he's afraid of my mouth. You know how you mouth the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a good one. Yes, because he yeah. is germ -phobic. I'm not kissing okay. you through plastic. Come do it. No, we come don't do need it. the plastic. Just come here. Okay, good. Come here. Mm, wow. God. So summing it up, it is a... Yes. And it is a? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And it is a hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah! Welcome to Hollywood, girl. Bring the party with you, baby. So, Donnie, you're about to go in there in front of the judges. Yeah. Somebody saw something in you, so you could be on your way to Hollywood. Where do you get your talent from? Is it from Mom? No. <laughs> no, definitely not. I haven't even heard the boys sing. Wait, is your son, you've never heard him sing? He no. played for the Atlanta Boys Choir when he was eight, and that's the last time he's heard, let me hear him sing. So, this is going to be the first time she's heard you sing in years. Sure. Yeah, it since is. he was eight, and then he's 19. So, if Well, this I must get be very exciting door, for you. Very, very well, exciting. Well, we're going to put your ear right against the door. Oh, cool. No, don't make me nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I better stand back. There's a little nothing bit. to be nervous about, right? Hey, come on in. How are y'all? How are you? I'm good. How about you? Welcome to American Idol Season Thank 5. Thank you. So, Donnie, are you the best undiscovered talent in America, dude? I think I am, and I hope that I am, and I hope that y'all think I am. How long has he had a vocal coach? Just for about the last year. Last since year, he graduated. Huh? Yeah. So, what are you going to sing today? Bridge Over Troubled Water. All right, go for it. Okay. When you're weary... Feeling small when tears are in your eyes, I will dry them all. I'm on your side. Oh, when times get rough and when friends just can't be found like a bridge over troubled water. I will lay me down. Thank you. Um, Simon, what, what do you think? Well, you just murdered one of the most beautiful songs of all time. Don't say that. It went from torture to murder. Paul Abdul? How do you think it went, Donnie? Mm, I think it went all right. I was a little nervous and just, I, I don't know. I really think, I mean... I know. You know, honey, I, I don't know if singing's the right... Yeah, um, it is, a... though. It is? We're wrong? It's, no. 
I don't know. I just... Look, we've got some really good news. <laughs> <laughs> the good news is today is the start of a new career. Yes. yes That's yes, the good yeah. news. Don't yes. say that. No, no, but I'm being kind by saying that. Please don't no, say that. No, and I really mean it. Because that was sing. just horrible. Don't, don't, you didn't sing one note on key. Randy, yes or no? No. <laughs> it's an note. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Thank you. You never know. <laughs> Why do you have to say that? You never know. We already, we're already okay. saying that. You did good. You did good. We got next no. year. We got next year. When you've murdered somebody, <laughs> don't drag them along with the blood. Like yeah, I just that. thought, you know, yes, someone no. may want to support yes him. Yes or no. What do you think it is? Yes. Could have been the 10-year hiatus from singing. It could have been, but... <laughs> I think we'll keep up the focus. Maybe, yeah. yeah. That's the kind of support you only get from a mother. Kendra Winston knew all about the importance of family. I am Kendra Winston. I am from Greensboro, North Carolina, and I grew up in foster care and group homes. Group home is another ward for orphanage, so I was a ward of the state. Kendra, how many times have you moved homes? 42. You've been in 42 different places? 42 different places. In how many states? Just one state. Um, I became emancipated when I was about 15 years old, and um, I had a son. And by the time I was 19, I had married and I had two more children. Oh, I definitely feel like um, I married too young. Um, my husband was not a good man at all. I eventually put him out, and I really accomplished a lot within one year of leaving him. I went and got a GED. I got a scholarship and started college. And from there, I started saving up my money so that I could get my children and myself out of public housing. It's funny, because you don't know that you had a bad life until your life isn't full of drama anymore. I'm glad for everything that I've been through, because I believe it prepared me for what I'm about to endure today. Well, good luck. Thank you so Go much. Go get him in there, Kendra. It was very nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice to meet you, too. I just wanted to tell you how hot you really are. I'm sure they edited it out before that. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What's up with you guys? How are you doing? Good, how are you? Like a young Whitney. Everybody's saying that. What is with that? I always get Tyra. I never got Whitney until I did the curly thing. Do you like it? Uh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I think Thank it's you. Terrific. I usually do the long thing. And uh, what are you going to sing? Ain't no mountain high enough. Fabulous. You guys like that? Go yeah, for it. love Go it. For it. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far. Don't worry, baby, just call out my name. I'll be there in a hurry. You don't have to worry, cause baby, there ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no valley low enough. <laughs> to keep me from getting to you, babe. Thank you. Randy? Uh, very nice. Couple of pitch things going on. Sometimes the voice goes up in the nose just a little bit, but I, I actually thought it was good. Really? Paula. Kendra, you're a breath of fresh air. You're unique, refreshing, and I think you got the whole package. I made you... Okay. Yeah. Randy, yes or no? Good compliments. I would say yes. Paula? Of course. I would have said no to the voice. Really? Yeah, I would, yeah. Yeah. It doesn't matter because I'm going. Exactly. <laughs> That's right, baby. Yeah. And I'm calm. You go. Oh. You go. <laughs> I love it. Love it. Congratulations, darling. The kids are very proud of you. Oh, Look at these little ones. They're so cute. Thank you. Thank so you, y'all. Y'all hype? Yeah. That means I'm leaving you. <laughs> that means I'm leaving. Bye. Well, so much for family. Coming up, the put down of the century. You look like the Incredible Hulk's wife. <laughs> Ronetta is coming after Paula big time. Straight up now, Tim. That ain't I can do that. I'm gonna be bigger than that. And and she could never me. And this Michael Jackson has problems too. It doesn't matter if you got a sore throat or a cold or you're tired or you're nervous or you're anxious. You come from three states away. Once you get in that room in front of the three judges, it's time to step up and deliver. Are they ready in Greensboro? Let's get back in the room.
What's your name? Uh, my name's Chase. I'm Kenneth Chase Bush, but I go by Chase. And um, I'm from Richmond, Kentucky. And I'm ready to sing and hopefully go to Hollywood. So I'm excited. Have you ever been to Hollywood? I've never been to Hollywood. Never been to Hollywood. Never been to California. So I'm like, this would be really exciting for me. How I want my you? name to be back there somewhere in my picture. Which so, was your favorite idol? Um, I'd had to say Kelly Clarkson. She was the first, and I think she's just topped everybody, and nobody's really been able to compete with her. All but right. I think this season, somebody's going to blow her out of the water. All right, so what you singing, man? I'm going to be singing um, I Have Nothing from Whitney Houston. Go for it. All right. Don't make me close one more door. I don't want to hurt anymore. And stay in my life if you dare. Must I imagine you there? Okay. Paul Abdul, what do you think here? Well, you know what? I didn't know what to expect. I, I really didn't. And it's always. It's always, it's always pins and needles when a guy comes in saying they're going to sing a Whitney Houston yeah. song. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You have a very interesting tone to your voice that's very unique. Kind of it's like um, a young Wayne Newton. <laughs> yeah. But you got, it's like a very pleasing voice. Thank you. Simon, you thought the same thing? It's going to sound odd, but I almost imagine you in a dress when you sing. Oh, come on, not again. <laughs> I'm not into drag. I'm not saying, that, I'm not not saying that to be rude. It's no, just no. the, you know, the tone of your voice yes. and the choice of yes. song. Yeah, I won't wear a dress, I promise. You I wouldn't. Think. Uh, well, if, if it meant me going to Hollywood, oh, I would. Don't no, say don't that. say that. Don't say I'm that. I'm not asking you to. <laughs> then no, then no. no. Would no. you wear yellow chiffon? Um, probably, if it had the right top with it. The right <laughs> shoes. I'm like, Paula, gotta have the right shoes. Of course. So. Of course. <laughs> oh. So, is it yes or no, Simon? Uh, no. No? Okay. Uh, I say yes. Girl, are you my girl. I love your shoes, too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Come to yes is that Welcome to Hollywood, baby! Yeah! Woo! Thank you very much. Bye. All right. Congratulations. Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back a few moments in that audition. <laughs> I'm not saying that to be rude. I'm not saying that to be rude. That's definitely Cal's catchphrase this season. I'm not being rude. Without being rude, <laughs> I'm not being rude, but you are an appallingly bad singer. I don't mean that rudely. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Of yeah, of course not. not. Oh, gosh. Where do I start? I mean, I'm not being rude, but you look like the Incredible Hulk's wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. You know, I, I'm just being honest, you know? Of course, not rude, just honest. And as it turns out, he wasn't the only one. 20-year-old Shauna Klepper from Quinlan, Texas, was also pretty direct. You're so short. Okay. Thank you. Oh, dear. You're welcome. Good luck to you. Thanks. Thank you. Is that a, that, is that bad? I just didn't expect you to be so short. Well, it's because you're in eight inch heels. <laughs> I'm 5'9", thank you very much. What well, so am I. <laughs> no, you're not. Well, now you're laughing at me. <laughs> Actually, I'm average height. I think average height for a male is like five ten and a half. Well, that's not in my state. <laughs> Where are you from again? California. Dang it, I'm moving to California in January. I don't well, want to meet a bunch of short guys. <laughs> So far, you and I are not bonding. Hey. Hi. Come how on in. Are Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good. What is your name? I'm Shauna. You know, Simon, you almost wore that exact outfit today, didn't you? <laughs> it was green. Yeah. My mom bought it. It's a, she goes to lingerie, um, like the lingerie shows, and she buys lingerie. Does she dance? Um, she did for most of my life growing up. What she kind? was a single mom. She danced as a stripper. Oh. She was a single mom making ends meet, and that's what she had to do. Good wow. for her. I don't judge her for we, it. We love her. <laughs> and none of us judge her. Absolutely, yeah. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, okay. exactly. What are you going to say? Faith Hill, bring out the Elvis. Okay. You're bringing out the Elvis in me. Making my hips on a swing. You bring out the Elvis in me. Making me bust out and sing. Thank you very okay. much. Uh, Paula, what say you about this girl? She's very sweet, very sweet. There's something like very raw to your voice that really, if it's cultivated right with some vocal lessons, could be something, I think, really cool. Mm -hmm. Simon. Simon Cowell? 
I think you got it wrong more times than you got it right in that audition. Okay. Simon Cowell, yes or no? At this stage, I'm going to say no. Okay. Paul Abdul? Good thing is you're 20. Keep working on it because okay. you, got, you got something there. That's well, okay. thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, I agree. Keep working on it. Thank you very much. Thanks. Come yeah. back. All right. Bye-bye. Good job. You guys have got weird ideas about lingerie. <laughs> what? I mean, if somebody I knew I wore that, it'd be like, lingerie. back in the bathroom, sweetheart. Coming up, do opposites attract, or is it a straight-up catfight? Paula's made a new friend, and you won't believe what she's got to say. She old as hell, and she still ain't gonna, she, she can never be famous trying to judge somebody. She can never do it again. She did that 10, 20 years ago, and she trying to talk Welcome back to Greensboro. We're nearing the end of the first day. I'm afraid it's a no. It's a no, no. Yes. <laughs> After a shaky start, the girls of North Carolina have stepped up. There were plenty of potential Fantasias, but where were all the Clays? It's no, dude. It's a no. Greensboro needed to give us some decent guys. Tell me why, why haven't I, haven't I heard from you? Why haven't I heard from you? <laughs> probably, probably the wrong line to end on that. <laughs> and all that pressure can make you a bit jumpy. What's your name? Brandon. Brandon? Yeah. Brandon, how old are you? 23. Are you excited to be here? Yeah, a little nervous. What are you going to sing? Follow me, Uncle Cracker. Whatever you like. Yeah. <sighs> Follow me and everything is all right. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me. I'm singing, follow me and everything is all right. I'll be the one to tuck you in at night. And if you want to leave, I can guarantee you won't find nobody else like me. Thank you. Do you like Michael Jackson? Yeah. I don't have to do that. No. Well, oh, you do it all the time. Yeah. I don't have to do it. No, I know you don't have to, but you did. I mean, if you don't if you prefer me not to do it, I could not do it. I wouldn't have advised it, no. Randy? Uh, it's a no for me, dog. I don't think it was really good enough for me. Simon? Yeah, I'm going to say no. Yeah. Brandon, um, not prepared. Thanks for coming out, though, dude. Confidence. You coming out. Get your confidence going and, ha and have fun when you go to auditions. Doesn't want to hear. Not interested. No, he don't need American Idol to make it. He's, he's got his own Yeah, I'm not voice. coming back. I mean, he's just going to crack on me next year, yeah, so what's the real. point? I mean... But no, if he had, like, famous clothes on and looked rich, he'd made it. I know he would have. Someone goes by everybody's looks. Was it Brandon's clothes, or was it really his nerves? As in all of our city, stage fright took a firm grip in the NC. Feeling better because I'm over you. I'm... <sighs> Drop your nerves. Just drop your nerves. Can I start over again? I'm so nervous. I'm so sorry. Burning down inside me. I'm so... Oh, my God. I'm nervous. Don't get nervous. It's just us. I hadn't. I come in here and I lost it totally. The nerves won the battle today, unfortunately. When I get put on the spot, it makes me nervous as hell. I ain't gonna lie. But when nerves get the best of our next contestant, how are you? Come in. A bit of emotion out there, huh? Yeah, you know. A little loud, <laughs> a little loud. Your name is? Ryan Baston. Your favorite? Ryan, how are Ryan. you? Yeah, like Seacrest. Okay. Why are you here? Um, well, I've, I've wanted to be a professional singer my whole life, and uh, what better way to do it than to be an American Idol? Okay. What are you going to sing? <laughs> um, Broken Road by uh, Rascal Flatts. Ready? Okay. Whenever you're ready. I set out on a narrow way many years ago. Hoping I would find true love along the broken road. But I got lost a time or two. Wiped my brow and kept pushing through. I couldn't see how every sign pointed straight to you. Thank you. First Ryan I've ever met with talent. <laughs> <laughs> Randy? Well, I thought you sounded good. I like the whole kind of Alan Jackson, kind yeah. of Randy Travis thing in your voice. I, I, I liked it. Paula? Sounds good. Yeah, I, I really like your tone. I like that 
the quiet confidence that sits very well in your voice without overcompensating. Just really natural. Really like you. Thank you. Yep. Thank okay. You so much. Randy, yes or no? Definitely. Paula. Absolutely. Ryan, you're going to Hollywood. Oh, oh Ryan. Ryan. Here we come. Yeah. So there was potential for the guys of Greensboro. Would Cedric Robinson keep it up? He was related to someone very special. Do you recognize Cedric? Cedric is related to Fantasia Barino. Do you see it? Now you see it, don't you? So that means, I mean, that's the American Idol. Mm -hmm. That means you go in there and ace this audition, baby. It's in the blood. Yep. He didn't seem very confident. Hi, come here. Hi. What's up, man? What's up? What's going on? How are you? I'm all right. Uh, Good. <laughs> What's your name? My name is Cedric Robinson. And Simon, I love you. Thank you. And you know what? We collectively love you. <laughs> Thank you. Simon. Okay, what are you going to sing? Um, a little chain of food by Aretha Franklin. Great. Yeah, Barry Chain has got a legal link. I might be a weak child, but I'll give you strength. Oh, yeah. Chain, chain, chain. Chain of food. <laughs> it was absolutely dreadful. It's kind of rough, dog. Especially that last run at the end, man. You went through about 12 keys right there. I haven't been singing since I was three years old. Well, your voice hasn't changed much. Oh, That's come on, Simon. Simon. Randy, yes or no? Dog, it was not good. It's a no. Hold up. You're going to have to pass me. That's a no. All right. Thank you so much Thank for you, coming Thank you, though, Cedric. So the Barinos will not be adding to the family band. Not so much the entertainer. Cedric leaves empty-handed. Next in was Paris. She has talent in the family, too. Music is very important because my grandparents and my mother, being a fourth generation, it's always just been in my family. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is Ann Nesby, y'all, right here. One of the greatest singers in the known world. Oh, my God. I wish she was singing today. <laughs> Her mother, as well as myself, and uh, two other family members, my sister, Miss Marie Graham, and also uh, Trinidad Graham, who's a drummer for Sounds of Blackness, as I was the lead singer for Sounds of Blackness, uh, for which we won uh, three Grammys. How are you? Fine. You're fine. What's your name, sweetheart? My name is Paris Bennett. I love your speaking voice. Thank you. How old are you? I'm 17. Are you the next American Idol? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> what are you going to sing for us? Cowboy, Take Me Away by Dixie Chicks. <clears throat> Whenever you're ready. I said I want to touch the earth. I want to break it in my hand. I want to grow something wild and unruly. I want to sleep on hard ground in the comfort of your arms in a pillow of blue bonnets and a blanket made of stars. Oh, it sounds so good to me. Yes, it sounds so good to me. Thank you. Beautiful voice. Well, Thank you. I love hearing your speaking voice and how different your singing voice is. It's mm, incredible. Mm. Thank God it's not the other way around. <laughs> yeah, no. You know what? Will you bless us with another song? I really love Billie Holiday, and I'd love right. to do Take Five. We love her. That's the most perfect, perfect Won't choice. you come and take a little time with me? Just take five, oh yeah. Stop your busy day and take the time out to see. I'm alive, oh yeah. Though I'm going out of my way just so I can pass by each day, not a single word do we say. Wow. It's a pantomime and not a place. I know I love Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're incredible, honey. Thank wow. You. You're 17? Yes, ma'am. Chills. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Thank you. Fun. Unbelievable. Um, I, there wow. aren't words that express how we feel blessed in your presence. You're wow. wonderful. Wow. Unbelievable. Yes, yes, and yes. Congratulations. Where have you been hiding? <laughs> well, she's, got the, she's got the lineage, though, Woo! man. Greensboro. She Woo! gets it on us.
came to stand up, darling. It's all right. You want to come down on your knee? You all right? Oh. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. What does it feel like right now, sweetheart? I can't explain. I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> Say it louder. Say it louder. Come on, now. Let's feel it. I'm going to Hollywood. <laughs> Harris's joy was obvious, and the judges, too, were all smiles at the end of day one. Greensboro was paying off. Uh, welcome to Hollywood, baby, yeah! 24 golden tickets flew out the door. Yeah. After the break, it's Cal's special day, and he is loving it for all the wrong reasons. This is the best birthday oh, I have yeah. ever had right. in my life. And if you thought this was inappropriate... Forever. Uh, no. uh, uh. Wait till Ronetta sounds off. I'm still going to be famous because guess who told me? Ten of my psychic friends told me that. The sun is rising on day two of auditions in Greensboro. Paula was perky as ever, and Randy was raring to go. Greensboro, day two. <sighs> Even though the first day has been a success, smile when we wheeled in a cake for his birthday. Soon we'll be wheeling him out of the auditions. Oh, Happy birthday! Happy 50th, buddy! You look great! You look great! Waiting for his turn to sing was Marcus Beeling. He'd been a ball of frenetic energy all day. This was his moment. My name is Marcus Antoine Beeling. My vocal style, I've been told, is very unique or different. I've won approximately 10 talent shows. But in the last year, I've won approximately three talent shows. Who do you think you most sound like? Can you compare yourself to anybody? Well, I think I'm very unique uh -huh. and different. But if I must compare myself to somebody, I'd say it'd probably be sort of a mixture of and genuine, R. Kelly, or Usher. Wow. Those are some superstars. <laughs> yes. Hello, dear. Hello. How are y'all today? Good. Hello. Marcus, correct? Yes. How old are you, Marcus? 22. 22. Yes. You excited? Yes, very. All right, what are you going to sing for us? She's Out of My Life by Michael Jackson. Okay. <sighs> She's out of my life. <laughs> She's out. <laughs> Thank you. What the hell was that? That song was going to take two hours if you kept going, dude. I oh have my. never, ever heard that song sound like that in my life. Uh, what, what was it? What, what was, was that, that version of it? I don't even know what... Huh? what What's what your name? Version? Marcus Bill. Marcus, what do you do? I sing. This... You sing? Yeah. Yes. Have you ever had vocal lessons? Yes, I actually had the Randy and Paula DVD. Oh, yeah. But, oh, who but, told you to say that? No, no, I, I really do. But, okay. I no, rest no, my no, case. No, 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 you didn't no. use it. No, yeah, you okay. didn't. Okay, hold up. Can I, can oh, I sing oh, one more song? No, please, please, got... please, can I sing one more song, please? You don't know how much you made my day. No, 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 no you can only sing only one more song if you sing you read Simon's book. Did you read Simon's book? Oh, there is a god. There is a god. Please, can I say um, one more song? Does it please? come with a muddy back guarantee <laughs> by any chance? Please, can I say one more song? Please, just, just, just one more. Well, yeah, I, I'd love to hear a second. Yeah, yeah, let's hear one more because that was a joke. Which part of the DVD okay, is okay. this from? Okay, okay. <laughs> I know 
that I want you, so I say it. I know <laughs> that I need you, so I show it. Okay, I know. No, time maybe, out. Time maybe, out. Maybe Marcus, your D Marcus, no, Marcus, no, Marcus, 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 stop, 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 stop. Maybe stop. your DVD machine is running a little slow. <laughs> Marcus, I'm worried about being. And here's the deal, Marcus. If you have no singing talent, I don't care what DVD, what singing teacher is not going to help you. Yeah, he's got a point. Dude, it's not going to help you, man. That's, no. that's why I didn't help you. I'm very but Yes or no, Simon? Well, you know. <laughs> but, but, but for real, y'all, I really. I mean, I'm telling you, I, I'd have had plenty, a whole lot of people tell me that I could really I sing. know, I know, Marcus. Yeah. Um, he, Mandy, he, Mandy, to be fair, he is your pupil. Oh, yes or no? Oh, Paula, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, yes or no, guys? I, I promise Paul, I, I, Paul, I, I, promise I, I You have a vested I, interest, I, I know. I, I promise I will, I, will do, I will do any and everything, <laughs> man. I will. Listen, yes or no, Simon no, Cowell? Your pupil, I'll, yes I'll, no. I'll, I'll bow by, by no. you on this one, Randy. <laughs> this is a very awkward situation. Yes or no, Simon? You, are, you should, like, model and, and you look like, like you should be doing commercials. In fact, Randy's got a modeling DVD coming out. <laughs> well, maybe borrow that one from the library. Yes, yeah, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, look. We're going to sum Let's this sum up. Let's sum it up. Simon, yes or no? I, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm on the fence here, Wait, but hold no. Hold on, hold on. I'm going to say no too, dude. It, it, the notes, you held the notes for like two days each. Thanks, Marcus. See you later. See you later, Marcus. All right, then. Thank you. You're a doll. Go, you. go do your thing. Thank you. This is the best birthday oh, I have yeah, ever right. had right. in my life. All right. Oh, I love you, the world. You are loving it. I love you the world. You are loving it. Look at you. Oh. He's glowing. You have to keep coming back. I'm very oh. concerned. This was a gag. This was set up. We were Forfeit set up. Forfeit my fee this year. We were set up. Uh, here it is. Here it is. The infamous DVD. Now you see the DVD. Now you don't. Okay, coming up. Thank you, American Idol. Our Michael Jackson forgets his words. I was gonna save you, but... Oh, crap. <laughs> Sammy says too much. I'm just a crazy person. <laughs> and Renetta won't I'm shut up. I'm f***ed out because I wasted my time and my car broke down. That's what they mad about. Welcome back. It's always a large crowd at the American Idol auditions. The trick is to stand out. You've really got to work it to get noticed. Cause you've got personality. Walk with personality. Talk with personality. Smile with personality. Charm with personality. Love with personality. And trust the God of Ah, if you want to talk personality, we have got your man, Mr. Personality. My name is Jimmy Crabtree. I'm 24 years old. I'm from Nevin, North Carolina, and I work in construction. I think I might be the next American Idol because, you know, I just have the passion for music, and I think I have what it takes to make it. I'm a really outgoing person. I have a good sense of humor. I'm a really nice guy and easy to get along with, so pretty much just a likable person all the way around. I go out to karaoke bars about six nights out of the week, sometimes seven nights. That's just what I love to do, and I want as many people to hear me as possible. Like, I recently met a girl in a bar, so she heard me sing a song, and now she wants me to sing at her wedding, and uh, I told her I would, so I'm looking forward to that. Hi. How are you? How you doing? <laughs> no. um, what's your name? Jimmy Crabtree. OK, Jimmy, why are you here? Because I love to sing. Yeah, are you any good? I think so. Okay, and what are you going to sing? Rascal Flats, Bless the Broken Road. Fantastic, off you go. Okay. I sit down on a narrow way many years ago, hoping I would find true love along the broken road. But I got lost a time or two Wiped my brow, kept pushing through I couldn't see how every sign Pointed straight to you Every long All right, Jimmy, Jimmy, I'm not being rude, but you have the personality of a hippo when you sing. I am. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what I mean by that? What? In other words, it just <laughs> didn't feel right. 
Paula, what did you think? <laughs> Jimmy, I don't think singing is the right career for you. I, I gotta be honest. It wasn't on key. And just for, for future references, when you come to an audition, it's always good to look at, look at the people that... And you got lost in your own world, closing your eyes. Jimmy, don't do any more singing auditions, dude. It's not good. Randy, yes or no? Um, no. It's not good, dude. It wasn't good, James. Hold on. Sorry, honey. Yes or no? Thank you. Good looking out, though, man. Jimmy was sadly lacking it. <laughs> Sammy, on the other hand, was full of it. My name is Sammy Neighbors. Uh, I go to the University of North Carolina at Greensboro, and I'm just a crazy person. <laughs> Why, Sam, do you think you should be the next American Idol? It's Sammy, and um, because I'm so raw, I'm raw. Hey. Hey guys. Hey guys. Like you come to stay for a while. Y'all are so beautiful. Oh my god. Are you gonna do a magic trick? Maybe. You could see that. What's your name? My name is Sammy Neighbors. I'm 22. I go to UNCG. What are you gonna sing? I'm gonna sing. Um, I can show you the world from Aladdin. No, hence huh? magic carpet. Yeah, this is my magic carpet. Cool. Y'all okay. ready for the magic carpet round? Yeah. We are. Visual effects help. Ooh. I can show you the world. Shine and shimmering and splendid. Over sideways and under. On my magic carpet ride. A whole new world. A new fantastic point of view. No one to tell us no. Nowhere to go, it seems that I'm only dreaming. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Uh, uh, uh. All I'm doing is having fun. Straight up now, tell me, do you really want to love me forever? Uh, uh, uh. Or are you caught in a hit and run? Wow. Wonderful. Just what we needed, Sylvester Stallone's younger sister singing Paula Abdul. Oh, <laughs> that was really mean. Come on, come That's on. That's what it was like. You don't think he has talents? No. I no. think what I do no. think you can do is no. make people happy. Okay, yes or no? It's a no for me, dude. The <laughs> vocals are nowhere close. Paula? Fabulous hair, fabulous eyes, fun person, not right for this competition. It's a no. All right, thank y'all so much. Have huh? a good day. You're awesome, Paula. Thank you, dear Mark Sammy. Yeah. We like her, too. Hooray. So Simon wasn't ready for Sammy. Yeah. See you guys later. Coming up, is he ready for Michael Jackson's half-brother? <gasps> and are you ready for our most incredible outburst ever? Take cover, America. Ronetta is coming at you. I guarantee you, if me and Paula Abdul walk outside, nobody wouldn't even know she was a celebrity, but they would think I was the celebrity. And that's a fact. Welcome back to Idol in Greensboro. Waiting in line with hot coffee and a tale to tell is Tyra Schwartz. Where are you from? I'm from New York City. It took an 11-hour train ride to get here. Oh, my gosh. Well, I hope it goes well. I hope so, That's a lot too. of pressure on us now. <laughs> it is a lot of pressure. So it's been a rough last couple of weeks for you. It sure has. I understand you broke up with your boyfriend. I called him to thank him for being so wonderful, and the girl that he was cheating on me with picks up the phone. No way. Yeah. Not only is it happening, but it's happening as I'm laying in bed recovering from surgery where he's supposed to be there for me. So Sweet Revenge is making it through to Hollywood and American Islands. Oh, yeah. See you, Saka. Hi, hi. How are you, honey? I'm doing good. I'm real happy to be here. Thank good. you for having me. And what? happy birthday to you. Thank you, sweetie. Uh, you're welcome. And you're Tyra Juliet? That is correct. And you're Paula Abdul. <laughs> that would be me. Wow, wow. <laughs> that was good. What are you going to do for us um, today? Well, I'm going to sing in the still of the night. Okay. <clears throat> In the still of the night, I held you, held you tight. Oh, I love, love you so. Promise I'll never let you go in the 
still of the night. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. Beautiful voice. Nice. Thanks. Wow. I try. A real nice tone to it. Thank nice you. control. Very good. Simon. Very good voice. Not sure that we're looking at a star. Hmm. But I will change your mind on that. You know why? How? Do you want to know why? I'm intrigued. Because you can only be as good as you're willing to work. Yes. And I, this is my whole life. You know, it's not, I know that I waited online at this audition, but I'm not patting myself on the back for that. This is an opportunity that I'm proud to have. Good. No, I, I think you'll brush up well. Yeah. How old are you? I've just turned 24. <laughs> Maybe you have a very nice voice. Thank you. So that means what? That means he, that means where he's <laughs> Means I like your voice. That means that, he, that means I like your voice. He likes your voice, and? I love your voice. Great control, great tone, amazing. Must have had good lessons. I've been taking lessons for a few years, yeah. Good for you. Good. Congratulations. Welcome to Hollywood. You guys will not be sorry. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank, Thank you. you. Woo! <laughs> well, congratulations. Up oh, the back's feeling better all of a sudden. The heart is now one. You Who cares about the boyfriend? You can meet a new guy in Hollywood, right? Well, we hope she does find a man in Hollywood because there wasn't so much to choose from in Greensboro. Twenty-two-year-old Seth Strickland from Rome, Georgia. Got this a thriller, thriller night. No, shoot, doggy. Got this a thriller, thriller night. And no one's gonna save you from the beast that's about to strike. You know it's thriller, thriller night. And no one's gonna save you from the beast that's just... Oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Woo! Whoa! Get down. She's out of my life. She's out of my life. And I don't know whether to laugh or cry. I don't know whether to live or die in the cuts like a knife. She's out of my life. Okay, Randy. Uh, wow. Uh, Seth, I, I don't know what to say, dude. I, I'm, I'm kind of speechless, dog. I, I, um, wow. I like the Michael on the toes thing. Um, you know, Seth, you, can, you definitely have a love for Michael, and you got some of his dance steps down pretty good. I don't think you're ready for this next part. I, yeah, I think dancing is probably better than the singing. I, but nice to meet you. Pleasure meeting you. Sorry, home. Seth. Good looking out, man. Take care. Peace. A brave attempt by Seth, but no ticket to Hollywood. Coming up, the claws are out, and Renetta gets mad. Bow down. Because I'm... The cat fight commences after the break. Welcome back. The auditions are drawing to a close in Greensboro. The judge's enthusiasm is cooling off. Ronetta Johnson, on the other hand, has been heating up all day and is out to get noticed in a big way. With such flammable material being thrown around like that, it's a good thing we had a fireman on hand. The firefighter outfit. This is something I've never mm -hmm. seen before in the American Idol auditions. Now, is this your suit? That's my suit, yes. Sir. Really? You feel proud that you're standing here about to audition in front of millions and wearing your firefighter outfit? Very much proud. Very yeah. much. Hello. Hey, guys. Wow. I've been watching American Idol since season one. Oh, my gosh. Dressed like that? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> okay, and what are you going to sing? Your favorite song. Well, one of them. You Raised Me Up by Josh Grogan. Good. I presume there won't be any dancing. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You raised me up so I can stand on mountains. You raised me up to walk on stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. You raised me up to more than I can be. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Okay, at ease. Paula. Not bad. Yes, ma'am. Brandy. 
Fern Hall. No, I just always wanted to say that. Um, Breathe the heat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was okay, you know. Uh, nice guy, nice voice, and a very strange fireman's outfit, but I understand the sentiment. Um, I thought it was just okay. Okay. I Randy, wasn't jumping up and down. Yes or no? Uh, I would say no. Paula. You got, you've got talent. You know, you've got a gift to work with. I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Thank I think you. he deserves it. Your fate rests in the oh, hands so of Simon right. Cowell. Sorry. I'm going to agree with Paula. You're through to Hollywood. Oh, my gosh! Yes! Welcome to Hollywood! Congratulations! Oh, oh my God! No, no you got to bring the fire outfit, though. I have to bring it to Hollywood? Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, my gosh! Congratulations! I've been watching American Idol since Kelly. I have to say Kelly. Now you'll be watching yourself. Off you go. Thank you, thank you. Are you ready? Yeah! And now, the moment you've been waiting for. First, there was the Derek. Then, like a virgin, came Key. William Hong taught us how to bang. Leroy Wells showed us how to crunk. And Mary Roach was just plain weird. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome American Idol's newest sensation. She's graceful, she's sophisticated, she's all lady and all mouth. She is Ronetta. I always dress like real nice like this all the time. Everything I wear, people just stop and stare. Girls be getting mad, just yelling at me. I'll be like, whatever, whatever. Why did you go with this look? This is the kind of look I like. This is my style. And what is this style? How would you describe it? Um, sexy, different. Um, A bit reflective? Yeah. You know, the winner of the show competes with superstars in the business. Do you think that you are up to that level of yes. talent? Yes. And you could compete on the charts and in the music videos? Oh, with... yeah. I'll probably be at, top, at the top. Like, Really at the top, above J Lo, yeah. Mariah, yeah, really, yeah. Hi, come on in. Hey, how are you? Fine. How you doing? I'm good. What's up? It was an awful familiar Ooh, gaze. I did it again. Oops. I think I'm in love. <laughs> oh, is that, is that, is that the song you're doing? No, that was just a joke. So now, what's your name? Come up from above. I'm not that innocent. I believe you are. Okay. <laughs> so, what's your name? Renetta Johnson. I'm nervous a little bit, y'all. Me too. You I know am. what, honey? Happy birthday. Thank it's you, sweetheart. Nothing to be nervous about. Uh, so, how old are you, Renita? I just turned 24. And you believe you are, without a doubt, the next American Idol? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Well, it says you, are, you think you could be bigger than J-Lo and Janet. I can be. Yeah. Well, in yeah. a way, she is. Oh, sorry. I can be. All right, go for it. Work it out, girl. Work it out. You remind me, yes. You remind me of so sweet memories. I want to pick another song. I'm sorry, I don't like that one. No, did we? A little yeah. bit hoarse. Yeah, that uh, one's kind of hoarse. Hold on, my mouth is so dry. Wait a minute. Do you want some water? It's Do we have any water? Here's bubbly water. You have some. <laughs> anytime you're ready. Yeah, anytime you're ready. You want to go for it? Okay. I can have everything in this world, but I sacrifice it all for him. Hmm? <laughs> That's it. That's it? Okay. I know that <laughs> okay. he okay. will break my heart. All right, all, all right, right, here we go, right. here we go. Renetta, Renetta, it was... I can do much better than this. Well, yeah. 
We didn't see it, though. You want me to do it again? I was no. just nervous. No. No, no. no. Renetta, everything's gone wrong today. Yeah. It's a yes or no, Simon? Absolutely never. Paul Abdul. No. It's a no for me, too. Nita, you're not a good singer. Thank you for coming out, all right? Yep. I'll still make it, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're lost. I'll survive. Yeah, they turned down a superstar. They turned down a superstar. They said, I'm a nice girl, but I have a horrible voice. And Paula Abdul ain't got on me. So, um... I don't know who she was steering her nose up to. It doesn't even matter because I'm still going to make it. And y'all see me on TV, y'all going to be like, damn, damn, that's the same girl we turned away. And guess what? She hotter than the person who won American Idol. And she at the top of the charts, selling more records than American Idol. That's what's going to be, that's what they're going to be saying next. Ronetta did not take rejection well. Maybe she'd feel better after cooling off. Uh, no. I bet you, I guarantee you, if me and Paul Abdul walk outside, nobody wouldn't even know she was a celebrity, but they would think I was the celebrity. And that's a fact. Because I am going to be the one. Bigger than her. Bigger than straight up now, tell me that you wouldn't want to love me forever. That ain't I can do that I'm going to be bigger than that. And, and she could never me. She old as hell, and she still ain't gonna, she, she can never be famous trying to judge somebody. She can never do it again. She did that 10, 20 years ago, and she trying to talk, trying to talk bad about somebody's voice. It don't matter, because when I get there, you best believe I'm setting the city on fire. Well, that got it off her chest. Anybody can learn how to sing, but anybody can be like me. That's for damn sure. No, wait, there's, there's room for more. And tell Paula Abdul with her funky, old, played out Her is so funky and played out, she can't talk about nobody else because she ain't made an album in about 20 damn years. In 20 damn years, and she gonna have a nerve to sneer her damn nose up. And then she asked me, did I want to drink off of her? I said, I'm thirsty. She said, here, you want some bubbly water? You think I'm going to drink off you? I know you a celebrity or whatever. You might got more money than me, but I'm not putting my lips on yours. You can drink off me. Bow down, because I'm the Ronetta felt bad about singling out Paula. She wanted to include Simon. Hey, Simon. you and birthday. You should have chose this number. chose me, you would have probably made more money. But you chose to choose a that probably can sing, but the can't move. So here, take this number back and dream about it. You're going to wish that you would have picked me. <laughs> well said. Coming up, Greensboro gets one last chance at fame. Fame, I'm going to live for and we've got an exclusive look at San Francisco. Welcome back. That is a wrap for Greensboro. And it was a tough second day. Everything's gone wrong today. Just nine people made it to Hollywood in total. Welcome to Hollywood. And good luck to them. I'm going to Hollywood. They are on their way to pursue their dreams of success, million dollar recording contracts, sellout tours, and of course, fame. Baby, look at me. And tell me what you see. You ain't see. Dang it. You ain't see the best of me yet. Give me time, I'll make you forget the rest. I, I got, got more in me. And you can and let set it free. free. I can have the moon in my hands. Don't you know who I am? Remember my name. Fame! Fame. I'm gonna live forever. I'm gonna learn how to fly high. I'm gonna learn how to I will see it and cry. Fame, I'm gonna make it to heaven. I'm gonna snow like a flame. Fame, I'm gonna live forever. Ah, I just can't 
remember it. Remember, 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 remember my name, same. Same. What superstars will we find on our next audition stop? Tomorrow night, we head all the way to San Francisco, California. And among the thousands who turned out, some were young and innocent. Welcome to American Idol. While others were simply young at heart. God, you look like a mother trying to be a daughter. Luckily, some people had exactly what we were looking for. I'm in love, so we Excellent voice. But others had something we wished we never found. Us, neither one of us. Oh, okay, all right, please. To prove I am ready for love. And even though it's always been a city defined by peace and love, this year San Francisco is the site of the battle by the bay. Simon's having a tough day today. No, I'm not. You are. No, I'm not. Tune in as things get personal. You know what you can do on your own for a while. Oh. San Francisco, let's just get through it.